Erdinger. I'm 16 years old and we're here for the Courage Cup race today. I was born with a short foot on my right leg and I uh, was about 14 some months old, had it amputated and fitted with a prosthetic. I don't focus on it or think about it or anything. It's who I am, get over it, so <laughs> it doesn't bother me too much. Um, I started racing with the Courage Center about six or seven years ago. Just got more and more involved with it, came to the Courage Cup about four years ago for the first time. Joe is one of the participants in our ski program. He's been involved for about 10 years. The athletes with disabilities have some other adaptive equipment that help them get down get on the race course, but it, the coaching style is, is quite similar. It's just being knowledgeable about the adaptive equipment that the athletes have to use. I think that Joe's participation in our race program has built his self-esteem and definitely his skills as a skier. Joe is one of the top racers who is here today. I'm in 10th grade at Waconia High School on the slalom team and just got moved up to varsity. The high school team, I don't get a handicap with my time. It's just kind of fun being up there racing some able bodied people and beating some and still chasing down some others. It's all helping me to reach my goal of the Paralympics. The Courage Cup race today is a way to introduce our program to the ski racing community who might not know very much about adaptive skiing. Teams register in teams of three and then we put one of our adaptive skiers on each team and they get to get to know somebody that is skiing with a disability. Many of the racers that you'll see here today have learned to ski in our program. So we have other amputees who ski on just one leg of trackers. Uh, we have a lot of mono skiers here today. We have one visually impaired or blind skier. It's a lot of fun being involved with this kind of stuff. It's like uh, a lot of adaptive sports people aren't really aware of, and it's not like the Olympics or NFL or anything like that. As, as I see Joe, you know, progressing along with his goals in ski racing, and he's starting to get some national attention from other programs and coaches. So I do see his goals of making that Paralympic national team as an achievable goal. And a big round of applause for Lisa Giesig for uh, both teams. Third place. Courage Center, just for me in person, has changed my life a lot. Meeting, getting involved at the Courage Center has opened a lot of doors for me. And in first place, Doug Smith, Joel Andrews. Being a winner is the best feeling in the world. Come on up. Just knowing that you're on the best team here and did good. If I hadn't been involved with the Courage Center, I'd probably still be going down the bunny hills. The Courage Center's been awesome. I'm Joe Ertinger, and I am Courage Center.